Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy's Promo, and today we will be taking a look at five hidden features that's a part of Samsung One UI 2.5. So if you have the brand new Samsung Galaxy Note 20 device, or if you have a Galaxy S20 that just recently got the update, or any other Samsung phone running Samsung One UI 2.5, you might want to take a look at these five hidden features. This first one will be a part of Samsung Smart Things, and it's a way that you're able to find your other devices and accessories super easy and really fast. With without having to go to samsung.com and go into find my mobile. So inside of here, if you pull down the notifications panel and you click on the devices icon, then you wanna tap on this icon here that is Samsung Smart Things. Now, if you don't see any of those icons, then all you have to do is go inside of your Samsung folder, tap on the Samsung Smart Things application, and just make sure you have everything turned on and the permissions enabled. So the section that we'll be playing with right here is the Smart Things Find. So this is where you can choose all the devices and accessories that you want uh, when you first tap on this area. I only selected this phone here. I also have my Galaxy Buds Live right there so I can find my left and the right. This is the Galaxy Watch 3, and then these right here are the Galaxy Buds Plus. So if you feel that you might have lost them, you can actually locate where they were, where they were last connected, or if you have anything else that's, that is connected to any type of service, either LTE or Wi-Fi, you'd be able to find it that way as well. Now, if you don't have or see the Galaxy Buds Plus over here, but you own the Galaxy Buds Plus, just make sure you go inside of the application today. There was an update just pushed out on the 27th that gives the software update for this to work. So let's say that we're trying to find the watch. So once you tap on your little uh, map right here, it's gonna show you where it is located. Uh, right over here, it's gonna show the address of where it was last connected or where it is at this moment. So there's a way that you can navigate to it. So if you're not there at the moment, you can open up Google Maps, it'll navigate you directly to your watch. Uh, let's say that you are connected, you are able to make it ring. So if it's somewhere in your house, you know it's at your house, you can make it ring this way. And you also have more options and that's just gonna take you over inside of Find my mobile so this is actually really cool uh, right at the fingertips to find all of your stuff oh and if you guys are brand new here at the channel of Jimmy is promo and you appreciate these videos you love these tips tricks and tutorials on your Samsung Galaxy devices maybe you watch these videos all the time but you never really went through to hit that subscribe button make sure you guys go now and hit that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications so you get notified for all future videos this next hidden feature is one that's a part of the camera, and that is if you use motion photo. So motion photo is a way that it's able to capture a little bit of what's happening before and right after you take your shot. So the second that you hit that shutter button, it is capturing just a little bit before and also after. Now I do wanna pull in uh, the Galaxy Note 10 Plus just to show you that it is new for the Samsung One UI 2.5. So right there, I do have motion photo that is turned on. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep on talking, but I'm gonna say mic check one, two, one, two, one, two. Now that I took the photo, uh, I wanted to speak. The reason why uh, is because when you go back and you watch the motion photo, uh, even though it is black, there's really nothing going on here, and I do have my audio turned up, when you play your video back, you can see here that there is no audio being played. Now if I do the same thing over here, again, we're inside a photo, motion photo turned on, I'm gonna go mic check one, two, one, two. Uh, then it took the photo right there, uh, and when we go back and we play it, you're actually going to hear audio being captured. So let's go through, let's hit play. John, I'm going to go mic check one. And so you saw there that it did pick up the audio during that moment. And the thing that's nice about it is because when you do do motion photo, you're able to save it as a video if you want. So if there was something that happened really fast and really cool and it makes a really good video, well, this phone right here did not capture audio, but if there was audio that was being captured and you wished was there, it is now here and you can save it as the video. So that is one thing that's actually pretty cool. It is hidden just because some people don't even use motion photo and maybe this is a way to bring it back. So again, if you're at some event uh, and, and you capture a really cool image, maybe there is something that you could have taken as a short video clip and now you do have the audio. Hidden feature number three, we're gonna go inside of Google Messages. Now this will work with really any application that has the Samsung keyboard. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go right inside of this message right there. Uh, when you tap on this little message area, one of the things that you will notice is let's say that you put this one over inside of landscape. 
Now what's gonna happen is if you do this for the first time, you might notice your keyboard will be switching over into split keyboard. Now this is something that was brand new to Samsung One UI 2.5. All you gotta do is head right over here inside of that more option, swipe through and just find this one right here, which is called modes. So you also have option of changing keyboard size. One of those things that is also still new. Uh, you also have Samsung Pass, you got Translate, Search, YouTube, which is brand new for Samsung One UI 2.5. Some of these were already there with the 2.1, uh, but what is happening is that for the first time that I flipped this one in uh, horizontal mode, it actually switched it over inside of split keyboard. And I was wondering what the heck, you do have to go inside of the more, so this way you can put it back over inside of standard if you want. Uh, the other option that you have there is also floating, which floating uh, doesn't really make a lot of sense for this option here. So we're gonna go back to standard. Hidden feature number four is a way that you're able to use split screen, but then save it inside of your little application tray on the right hand side. So what you're able to do is let's say that we go inside and we are using uh, Google Maps. So once you go inside of Google Maps, the other thing that you might also use is going to be maybe something to listen to music. So I'm going to go inside of the rest of the applications. We're going to move right over here inside of YouTube music. Uh, so YouTube music is the other one that I use. We're gonna drag this one and I'm gonna put it on the bottom. So this way my maps are on the top, listening to music on the bottom. Uh, and then this is what most people just do. If they run two applications, they don't really go further than this. But if you tap on that little blue line, you're able to have this option here, which is save this little uh, uh, combination. So I'm gonna save the combination. It moves right up over here. So then this way, let's say that I get out of all of this right there. The next time I open up my little uh, edge panel, here is what we just got done saving. Once you open this up, you're good to go, travel somewhere while listening to music, doing it as safe as possible. Now this fifth hidden feature is one that's a part of the gallery. Now within this one, it was already there inside of Samsung One UI 2.1, but it was not there at the beginning. It was towards the middle or the end. And so for anybody who just bought a brand new Samsung Galaxy S20 or a Note 20 from using an iPhone, this will be new for you. Maybe uh, you had Samsung for such a long time, but maybe you didn't even know that this feature was there. So let's say that you're taking a picture and you started to zoom in a little bit and you look at this image you're like, hey, this is fantastic. Uh, I'm gonna have this one be the end result image. Uh, and I kind of wish that this was what I took. Well, instead of going through and editing everything, there is an icon that just popped up. So you can see that it's not there. When you zoom in just a little bit and you wanna get that perfect image, that icon comes right back, tap on the icon, and now you have that new photo saved. So let's say that we move right over. This is the one that you just got done doing. And the, the file size is actually still quite large. So the original image here, uh, this one was sitting at 4.73 megabytes. And then when you go over here, because you zoomed in, made it a little bit smaller, the ratio is a little bit different. You're still looking at one that's a decent size, uh, 1.49 megabytes. It's not anything that is super tiny and you're not getting it to, uh, to be blurred or pixelated. But this was only five small little hidden features, a part of Samsung One UI 2.5. I hope you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Also, did you know if you hit the thumbs up button, it actually turns blue. Also, don't forget to hit on subscribe. Subscribe right over here in the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.